let us take the second case of image formation in case of concave mirror. In this case, we are assuming that the distance of the object, namely the candle, is more than twice the focal length. So let us say the focal length of this concave mirror is 15 centimeter. This is what we have assumed here and the distance of the object from the mirror is 40 centimeter. So 40 centimeter is basically more than twice the focal length of the mirror. This is your concave mirror. Okay. So now in this case, what will happen? Now what you will do is that you will notice that the rays from the object move towards the mirror and these are parallel. Now try adjusting. So step one is the rays goes from the object to the mirror. Step two is try to adjust the screen. Okay, such that you know you get an image of this candle on the screen. Right? So when you get this image, you will notice that the image is formed. Now because the image of the object is formed on the screen, so this image is the real image. Okay. Again, let me use a different color. So these rays will get diverted. And come and hit the screen to form an image. The second thing is that the image that will be formed is going to be inverted. It's not going to be straight. So if the candle is like this, the flame is going to come towards the bottom and the candle will be there. Third property is that again this image is going to be smaller in size than object. So let's say if this is 20 centimeter, then this is going to be 16 centimeter, 14 centimeter, whatever. But this is going to be definitely less than 20 centimeter. Okay. So these are the properties when you form an image with concave mirror when the distance is more than twice the focal length. So this is a real image. It is inverted. It is smaller in size than the actual object. More or less this is also similar to what it was in case of multiple distance one that we saw earlier. But the only difference is that in this case, the image is going to be a little more in higher size than the previous one.